Hello Aquarius, welcome to your November 2019 reading. Thanks for joining me, my name is Michelle and this is for Sun, Moon and Rising Signs. Aquarius, let's take a look at your oracle cards. From the Literary Witches Oracle, this is a two-part oracle. And what came out for you firstly was the card of an author. It's Agatha Christie and as you can imagine with her books it was all about uh, the detective novels, uh, they usually took place in, in very aristocratic worlds filled with uh, estates and butlers and all of that kind of feeling around this. So uh, it's kind of like, uh, well, I get it as trickery, but I also feel deception around this, uh, finding the missing pieces. Often we had, to, we had to solve the mystery. So solving the mystery, trickery, suspicion, deception finding the missing piece and it comes along with the spider card and a spider in this case can simply mean focus planning even digesting when you think of the spider on its web there so you know it, it could be your energy aquarius where you're needing to to look at perhaps some some trickery around you or if you're cross watching an aquarius could be doing this to you now the uh, the other person's energy here is, is really wonderful energy actually we have the rose quartz from the crystal healing oracle and rose quartz speaks of unconditional love it speaks of infinite peace so it, it's very much a draw a draw of loving relationships healing past emotional traumas providing support during crises and with golden orange dragon this is beautiful light as well it's being a peaceful warrior helping those in need remembering your magnificence so helping those who in need unconditional love emotional blockages dissolving it really is quite uh, quite beautiful energy the feeling that I'm getting around this is one of not only radiating unconditional love but uh, for some reason I'm picking it up as perhaps healing from some kind of trickery or you helping another heal from trickery. We'll see where this goes. That's the initial energies that I'm picking up. I'm going to be using two different versions of the Rider Waite deck. For you, I've got the Justice card at the bottom of the deck. The other person has the Eight of Cups, and of course this can resonate the opposite way around, so please keep that in mind. So let's get started. Aquarius, we'll start with the past energy for you, where you presently stand, where you hope to stand with this in the future, how you're viewing the other person, doubts and fears, your challenge, and one card for the outcome. And when it comes to the other person, whatever side resonates with you, Aquarius, that's your message. Past energy around this person, where they presently stand, where they hope to stand in the future, how they're viewing you, Aquarius, their doubts and fears, what is their challenge, and one card for the outcome. Okay, Aquarius, let's take a look. We have the six of wands in reverse and the strength card so there's that unconditional love showing unconditional love around someone who perhaps is feeling feeling like they've gone through a difficult time perhaps there's something in their life that hasn't uh, worked out the way that they hoped it would it speaks of a, a feeling of defeat around this card a general sense of feeling defeated but it seems like it's Aquarius uh, it's either this other person showing you that 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 soft place to land or that nurturing energy or vice versa after going through a very difficult time of it now when it comes to where you currently stand nice energy here we've got the magician and the ace of wands so really is a healing energy manifestation it is about uh, communication a building building something new a new beginning so there's communication between you and another after going through something that failed feeling that sense of defeat but coming out the other side 
with a sense of purpose, a sense of renewal. Really nice energy here. You know, the thing with the, the strength card and the ace of wands, I've got it as the other person, but it, it can, of course, be the other way around. Uh, they are quite a, uh, a strong individual. They, through their own courage, through their own bravery, they are providing you with what you need at this particular time. Aquarius, where you hope to stand with this in the future. Okay, you've got the Three of Pentacles in the reverse. They have the Hierophant, so there's, they're taking a more traditional approach. The Three of Pentacles in reverse tells me, though, that there is... It may be a one, more of a one-sided energy that I'm picking up around this Aquarius. Perhaps the other person wants more. Uh, you don't. Let's see how you're viewing them. Okay. King of Pentacles in reverse. Mm. All right. And how they're viewing you. We have the, the Eight of Swords in reverse. All right. You know, I'm going to start with how they, they're viewing you, Aquarius. It, it seems that... There's something that you need to free yourself from, a restricted thoughts. It's that inner narrative that we speak to ourselves. Or it's all the can'ts or the, the shouldn'ts or the, the reasons why we shouldn't or can't do something. Keeping this sense of, it's almost like a self-sabotaging energy here of, of keeping something in, in the forefront of your mind that is preventing you from feeling a sense of uh, at being at peace you know it's it's all of those difficult thoughts going on in in a person's mind that can be uh, bringing about conflict internal conflict now how you're viewing them I get that there's an element around this of not having the best intentions. I have to say, I get a feeling around this of this is someone that is helping you through a difficult time, Aquarius, but ultimately you don't see that you want to work together with this person for, for, for more. But they are taking a, a more approach to, towards this of wanting something that is uh, traditional in nature, uh, structured. Uh, they're looking at this as something that has potential, perhaps for marriage. But I don't feel that that's the case with you. Let's see what your doubts and fears are. Okay, the star. So you, you're doubting that this is something that is going to to bring you that healing, to bring you that peace, to, to be better, to be better than what was, what has been lost here, this sense of, there's some kind of defeat that you've, you've recently gone through Aquarius, might have been a breakup, could have been a, a work situation that, that didn't work out, so you, you're doubting your ability to heal, you're doubting things to get better. The other person has justice in reverse, so when it comes to unfairness, it's in the forefront of this person's mind. Um, I don't think it's them being unfair to you, it's you being, they feel unfair to them. It's almost like, I get a sense around this, even with the strength card, I feel that these are related. This is someone who can show strength and compassion even though even though they don't want anything in return is what I'm getting from spirit. So yeah, it, it is unconditional. But of course when we're, when we're around people that show us that unconditional love, sometimes we have to be careful not to take advantage of that. Let's see what the challenge is. We've got the hangman in reverse for you, Aquarius. So it, it is about the need to let something go, 
to see things in a different way. There's a lot of stagnation here. Perhaps there's a situation around, uh, there may be someone here in the mix, this third party. Three of Pentacles in reverse can sometimes suggest someone uh, meddling in, in, a, in a relationship, someone putting in their two cents. It doesn't have to be a love partnership either. It could be a friend, a family member, someone getting in the way. And for the other person, their, their challenge is the two of wands in reverse. So making sure that they know what they're doing next because there is a feeling around this of fear about making the wrong choice, having to, to return to something. Let's have a look at the outcome. Okay, we've got the King of Wands for you, Aquarius. So you're showing up in the position of, of strength, of power. You could even have some fire in your chart, but you don't have to. It is a card of Leo. Um, so if you're dealing with a Leo, this, this energy could be them. So feeling defeated in the past, but I get you now wanting to... to uh, there's a card here of, of setting an intention and being able to bring about whatever it is that you want to bring about. You have that power within. You can do that. You have the ability to, to, to do whatever you want here. But the question that I have is what is it that you, you want? Because I, I, there's this element of, and it's, it's disturbing me, is this element of trickery and the spider's web. I'm hoping this isn't you, Aquarius. Let's see what the outcome is for the other person. Okay, they've got judgment. So it may be reconciliation. Now, of course, when we talk about reconciliation, perhaps this is an ex. You're showing them there is uh, someone showing you unconditional love here it seems like they are uh, they may fear a, a, a repeat a repeat of a past cycle they want to make sure that they're making the right decision but for you though I, I get an element of there's something that you haven't let go of it may be for some of you Aquarians uh, difficulty surrounding a third party either this other person went towards a third party or you did and there's uh, holding on to negativity negative thoughts around that I think it might be you I think it might be you that, that's holding on to the negative thoughts around a third party potentially potentially you see uh, the other person as the one that has done something. Mm. Yeah, but I, I get that... Uh, I, I actually get the other person is on the up and up. They are... You may be doubting. You may be doubting what they say. But I feel like they've achieved a higher energy around them, a higher vibration. You know, with the Hierophant, it tells me that they've gained a lot of knowledge in the time that you've been distant or been away from this individual. But you are doubting them. You're doubting where they're coming from. Yeah, I, I get this, this defeat. It may have even been them that defeated you in the past, Aquarius. But now they, they want to show you they've changed. They want to show you that uh, uh, they've ascended. You know, the judgment card is awakening. It, it's ascending. They want to show you that they've ascended. And I don't feel that they want to, to go back to what they, uh, who they were before, before they, they learn what they needed to learn here. But you're thinking of them as someone who is still in that same mindset. And that's what's concerning you. But for you, it's something from the past that you need to let go of. I think it's around this person, something that they did, 
something that they uh, they may have betrayed you, uh, they may have cheated on you, something like that. And now you're thinking to yourself, well, you know, is this trickery? Can I trust this person? But I get that there there is there is good vibration around this other person. I get they have ascended to a higher level of understanding about what what they need and, and what uh, what you need, Aquarius. So we'll see where this goes in part two. I hope that you join me there. The link is below in the descriptions box and uh, that'll be on the Vimeo channel. It'll be about another 30 to 40 minute reading. I'll be clarifying everything on the table, putting out a lot more cards going much more in depth and I'll also be looking at some oracles as well to see where this goes in the future. If you would prefer a personal reading you can email me gypsyinsights at gmail.com. I wish you the best with this Aquarius. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in part two or I'll see you soon. Bye for now Aquarius.